Hey, David here from Brilliant Directories. In this video, we'll be going over everything having to do with the sidebars on your website. So right now we're on one of the members profile pages. You can see we have this sidebar here, and then we have a different sidebar here on our website blog. So depending on the page that you're on on your website, there's gonna be different sidebars. You can of course customize these sidebars. You can add sidebars to different pages. We'll be going over all of that in this video. So first things first, you can see we have different widgets within the sidebars. So let's hop on over back to the members profile page. You can see here we have a widget for sending a message. We have another one for a live Twitter feed. We have one for sharing the page on social networks and then a map widget. So to edit a widget, there's two ways we can go about doing this. We can either in the admin, go to toolbox and sidebar manager. And then we can select which sidebar we want to edit. So you can see we have one for the home page with a map, a lead page sidebar, the member profile page, search results page, the blog page, and then the page for a single blog post. So for this example, let's go into the member profile page sidebar. We're just going to click on that and it'll automatically redirect us to the sidebar. Now, the second way we can go about doing this, let's say you don't know which sidebar it is that you want to edit. You just know it's on this page, for example. All you need to do is on this right hand side, click on the magnifying glass, which is the show widgets feature and it'll bring up all of this. So here, now you can see we have in green highlighted post search result sidebar. So then you know, okay, we can hop back in here and we'll go to the post search result. And then that will redirect you right to that sidebar. Okay, so pretty simple. Let's hop on back over to the member profile sidebar and we'll close this page. So just so you can see the correlation between this live sidebar here and what it's being displayed in the admin, you can see we have the contact form up top. We have the Twitter feed, the social share. Again, we have the contact form, the Twitter feed, the social share. Below that, we have the map, which is right down here. So the widgets that you see listed on this right-hand side of this admin page is what's being displayed live on the sidebar on this specific web page. So let's say we just want to edit the order of widgets in the sidebar. All we need to do is drag and drop. So let's say we want that social share widget, this one right here, the share this page. Let's say we want to move that up to the top. All we need to do is drag it above the member contact form. We'll save the changes. We will refresh. And there you can see it's been moved up to the top of the page. Now let's say we don't want this social share widget on this sidebar. It's just as easy to delete widgets. All we need to do is click this red X on the right hand side of the widget. We will confirm and we'll save the changes. Let's go ahead and refresh the page again. And there you can see it's now gone. We can also add widgets to these sidebars. So on the left hand side of this page, you can see we have our available widgets. There's a lot of them. There's 30 pages worth. So the easiest way to sort through them is just by searching by name. So let's go ahead and bring that social share widget back. We'll just search for social share. And then to move it back into the sidebar, all we do is drag it on over. So we'll put it back up at the top and we'll save the changes. We'll refresh. And there you can see we have it back incredibly simple. Now let's say we want to edit a widget. It's just as easy. We will go ahead and click that show widgets button again on the left hand side of our website. And so let's say we want to edit the social share widget. You can see it's surrounded by a dotted line and it's connected to the bootstrap theme module social share. So all we need to do is click on that red title and it will take us to the widget. So we'll click customize. It'll add it to our customized widgets. So this is it right here, the social share. We'll click edit. 
And now we see the HTML, any CSS or JavaScript that may be associated with the widget. So you do need to have some knowledge of HTML, possibly CSS, to edit widgets, but it's really pretty simple if you're just making minor changes. So for example, let's uh, get rid of the show widgets. Let's say we just want to change the title of this widget. Let's say from share this page, we want to change it to um, share with friends. All we need to do is find where it's located in this HTML text field, and we just change the text. You can also add elements if you would want to. You would just paste them in wherever uh, they need to be pasted into. Um, but so we changed the title to share with friends. Let's go ahead and save the changes. And we'll refresh the page. And you should see share this page will be updated to share with friends. So it's really pretty simple if all you want to do is make some minor changes. You can also create widgets. So let's go ahead and do that right now. In the widget manager, we'll go ahead and click that. This will take us back to all of our widgets, our default widgets, as well as our customized ones. But to create a new one, we'll click this blue button up in the top right where it says new widget. And it'll bring up this window. So let's go ahead and name this to new test widget. You can name it whatever you want. The widget type will just leave as widget. You typically will not need to change this. And then here we can input our HTML, our CSS, uh, our JavaScript, whatever it is we need to input. Now right now we'll just keep it really simple and we'll just put in some HTML. So let's add a h3 tag and let's say this is a test widget. We'll close the tag and we'll save the changes. So this is only going to display the text. This is the test widget. We're keeping it really simple. We'll save that. You can see our new test widget has been added to our customized widgets area. So going back over to our sidebar manager, let's say we want to add that new widget to our member profile page. We're already on this sidebar. So let's refresh this page. And now let's go ahead and search for that new widget. So we titled it new test widget. So all we need to do is search for that. You can see it pops up immediately. And we can drag this over. We'll add it to the top. We'll save the changes. We will refresh our website. And there you can see our widget has been added to the top. Now it's really basic. All it is is text because we haven't added any custom CSS or anything like that. But that's how you can create new widgets. Now let's say you want to actually create a brand new sidebar. It's actually just as simple. So over here in the sidebar manager, we will just click this green new sidebar button. We'll name it. So let's just name it new sidebar. You can name this whatever you want. You typically might want to name it uh, whatever page you're going to be placing it on. But in this case, we'll just leave it as new sidebar. You can add a description. So we'll just do new test sidebar and we'll save the changes. So the page will refresh. Let's go ahead and select that sidebar. And so now we're on the new sidebar. There's no widgets in here yet. So let's go ahead and add that social share widget over. And then also let's go ahead and add that new test widget that we just made. So we have these two widgets in here now. We'll click Save Changes. And now we need to add this sidebar to a web page. So let's go ahead and go on into Content and edit web pages. Now let's say we want to add a sidebar to the how it works page. Let's go ahead and open this page up. You can see it's full screen. There's no sidebar on it right now. So let's go ahead and click the edit button for the how it works page. And over here on the right, you can see we have an option to show a sidebar. So we click the drop down and we can select which sidebar we want to have displayed on this web page. 
So let's choose our new sidebar, the one that we just made. And we can choose whether we want it on the left or the right hand side. So you've already seen some examples of the sidebar on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and add it to the left. We'll save the change. And we will refresh this web page. And there you can see we now have our sidebar on the left hand side of this page. And that's pretty much all there is to sidebars. We've gone over how to add and remove widgets from sidebars, how to create brand new widgets, how to edit your sidebars, how to create new sidebars, and how to add sidebars to other web pages like we just did here on the How It Works page. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.